Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this little video series, we're gonna make a first person shooter. Now, I've actually made a video on this before, but I've lost the project and wasn't able to continue it as more of a series, which is what I'm hoping to do a little bit of here. So, I've actually made, I think, the same environment as that video, if I'm not wrong, on making a multiplayer shooter. I've set everything up already the environment, I've imported some weapons, which have nothing other than just a rigid body, so they fall to the ground. I've set up the player as per the beginning fishnet tutorial, so if you haven't seen that, I very much recommend going on watching that so you can follow follow up from here and i've also set up the connection starter which i do in my video where i show the setup that i use so i have peril sync already i have my connection starter i can choose whether i'm a host or a client to make testing and setting up super nice easy and quick i didn't see a reason for me setting that up in this video series as i already have other videos on these topics so now we have a really good base and we want to make a first person shooter with multiplayer now we got to figure out first of all what do we want to build what some of the mechanics that we want obviously the player's got to have some health we got to have some weapons and i thought it could be fun making weapons so we can pick them up and i want to do it more of an arcade style so in a realistic type game you would most likely have the weapons that are out here flopping around on the ground be different from the ones that the player actually carries and maybe we'll we'll do that let's figure it out as we go i have had some videos where i've kind of set up and prepared everything but people have kind of voiced that they don't like that so i'm going to keep it very honest i have not set this project up yet i have no idea what i'm going to do and this way you can just follow along in my thought process of setting the, up this project now first things first we need some player health and we need some way for the player to actually carry the weapon so let's start with the weapons that's what the first video i think should be about so let me make a weapons folder inside of my script as well and on the player i want to have a player weapon script and this should be on the player keeping track of which weapon do we have and actually i probably want to do exactly what i said before which is have sort of a representation of the weapon in the world and when we pick it up it gets disabled or destroyed and the player picks it up so let's start by going into the player and let me get the weapon so in my i just imported them so it's all just free assets that i've used you are able to find these on the asset store now let me find the pistol and put that onto the body of the player let me find the shotgun which was also a weapon and let me find the rifle which was also a weapon now let's just center all of these here is your zero and we can position them about where we would want to shoot from so let's say that the weapon should be somewhere around here that looks about good and let me move the shotgun up a little bit that should be there the pistol way up out here and let me just remove the colliders completely from them and let me remove the rigid bodies as well and just actually make them not prefabs so there we go and yeah that should be it now they're just set up purely visually we can move them around as we like but i want to see how this looks with the camera now all of them are obviously going to be enabled so let's just disable these two and let's try and play see how this looks and there you go now we have a gun but see it doesn't move up and down so that's something we gotta set up as well now the way that this setup works is it actually grabs the camera after the fact and sets it up on the player so that way we cannot have this setup actually we got to figure out what else we want to do but we'll figure that one out in a bit actually maybe we should figure that one out now i just realized it's probably pretty good to have the weapon looking in the right way so let me go into the player open the player weapon and let's remember to also attach this onto the player so player weapon there you go now in here first of all i just want to have a serialized field or we can have a private list and this should be probably of the type of weapon or let's make it abstract and call it a weapon and this can be our list of weapons which will just be a new list and now this a weapon class let's go and make that immediately so let me go create a new script and call this a weapon open this up this will be a public abstract class of type network behavior go now the idea behind abstract is it works a bit like an interface which means you can make up rules the thing that's different about an abstract is it also has inheritance this is all i go over this in my modular setup video so if you're not familiar with that video yet i would very much urge you to go and watch it it will help you understand very much how how to work with modularity and it's something that i started loving doing lately so something i'll probably want in here is a public void that we just call shoot or actually let's call fire and that does nothing for now public abstract void fire. there we go that's all we have now and now in here in the player weapons you can see this works so now we should probably actually call this a player weapon and there's a reason for that the reason is the weapons on the ground should probably be called ground weapon or something like that just to keep it organized because these are going to be two different types of weapons so a player weapon like that that should do it so now let's go on to the player prefab here and let's assign this script to each one of these so this is a player weapon oh and we gotta inherit from it so let's make new script let's call this one for let's say this is the player pistol and this now inherits from a player weapon and that now means that it needs to have the public override void of fire that and it needs to do something here we can just right now have a debug lock saying fire well pistol fire just like so and now we can go assign this to the pistol so let's do pistol and there we go now that's assigned and now let's also make one for the rifle and the shotgun or actually let's keep it to the pistol for now that's probably going to make it easier now i can drag and drop the pistol in here 
like so. And what we got to figure out now is we have to have these set a child object of the camera as soon as that gets set on the player. So what we can do is in the player weapon here, we could have a public void initialize weapons. And this would take in the camera, which we would want to transform technically parent of weapons, which we would want each of these weapons to be set as a parent of. We can do for each or for int i equals zero, as long as i is less than the weapons dot count and then i plus plus. And now we can do weapons dot transform. Oh, sorry, weapons at i dot transform dot set parent to parent of weapons. There we go. That should hopefully do that trick. And now the weapon should be able to move around correctly, I presume. The only thing that could be a bit off is the positioning here, but let's we'll figure that one out. So if I go into the player controller and I see it all gets set up on onstart client, and then this is only for the owner. So this is perfectly fine. And then here we can say if try get component player out player weapon it's called player weapon you can do player weapon dot initialize weapon and then that will be the player camera dot transform there we go let's try and see how this looks now i have no idea if this is actually gonna work or if the pistol is gonna be well offset it looks good pistol is now following around what we wanted in the middle of the screen i think that's good also i just noticed that the, the weapons are warped which of course we don't want the reason for that is because on my player i made the body 0 0.5 so let me actually just take the weapons out of here again and now you can see that's 0 0.5 let's just make them one and one there we go yeah that's better that looks <laughs> that looks more right now if we press play and there we go now we have a gun i think this looks good uh non-convex mesh collider ah great they have child objects didn't even notice Boop. convex yeah there we go okay right so this is the first step. Now the weapons are working with the camera. Very, very good. Good start. I want to move them a bit up and a bit to the right. Let me just do that immediately. Them a bit up and a bit to the right. Let's go. Just with the current camera view. Right. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to be able to both shoot and I want to be able to pick up a different weapon. So on the player weapon script, I want to keep track of what's our active weapon. Now I want to serialize this just for debugging purposes as well, so we can actually see it. So a player weapon will be the yeah, current weapon like that. And by default, what we can just do is we can just have it be weapons at 0 0.0. And we probably want to just make a, an if statement really quickly. Just say if weapons dot count greater than zero, then we'll do it just to make sure it doesn't return null, creating an error. Now we'll have a current weapon set. And now we can also have a private void fire weapon, which will take our current weapon and call the fire call, which is the one that we set up in here as a rule, which means they will all have it. And in this case, it should say pistol fired because the pistol will be the first weapon. What we can actually also do is instead of this, let's do a private void initialize weapon, and that will take in an integer of the weapon index. And so this will instead be the weapon index. And if the count has to be greater than the weapon index. So this should initialize the weapon, but most importantly, we need to enable and disable the weapons correctly. So this can now call initialize weapon at index zero. And now we can say for int i equals to zero, as long as i is less than the count and yeah here we set them active to four and now what we want to do here is we want to set the correct one active again so we want to take the current weapon game object set active to true so now we should change the weapon it should technically disable all the other weapons we can test this in just a bit but most importantly let's go and test the firing so now i also want in the just throw in a update function up here try void update and this should actually be a network behavior I just realized because we need to disable it network behavior and we want to say if input dot get keep down decode dot uh, mouse zero that's your left mouse button we want to call the fire weapon command and now on the on start client like usually we also want to say if we are not the owner we want to not only return but we want to enable the equals false we just want to disable the entire script now let's go and test this out if this just works locally for now you can see now whenever i press you can see it says pistol fire that looks like it's working now let's just for debugging sake go into the weapons and make the other weapons as well so this is the this will be the player shotgun and this will be the player rifle so let's open up the player rifle hold the player rifle and say they rifle fired and in the player shotgun do the same just say shotgun fired and this will be player shotgun there we go okay now let's put this on the actual prefab go in here we have the rifle we'll add the player rifle and we have the shotgun and we'll add the player shotgun and now onto the player we'll just add this so that was the shotgun this was the rifle i don't know why but for some reason i want the rifle to be the second one in the row so now even if we enable these you should see that we should end up with only the pistol still because you should disable the others and you can see it just says pistol fired whenever i press now what we can do for debugging sake is we can go into the player weapon over here we can say if input dot get key down and let's just do key code dot yeah, let's do alpha zero no alpha one then that will be initialize weapon or initialize weapon at with index zero and we'll just copy this and then do alpha two and three and this will be one and two of course now we should be able to actually 
actually shuffle between the weapons and you should see them shuffling just fine as well as when we fire call the correct weapon so you can see now i'm shooting the pistol and when i press two i now got this rifle and now it will say rifle fired whenever i click and when i press three i get the shotgun you can see it will say shotgun fired and go back to pistol so this looks like a good base for the pickup system now in the next video we can look at how we make these actually pick upable so you can look at them press e and it will change the weapon and perhaps drop the old one i don't know how we want that to work yet but we'll figure out i hope that you like this format i know this was rather quick rather messy but hopefully it works it makes sense and i think most importantly for this format you just get a solid idea of the logic that i'm going through with this and how i'm building it another way that you can also see that it's working actually is if we go to the player you can see out here the current weapon is pistol and then when i press you can see it's rifle it's shotgun now, of course this currently isn't network so that you change weapon and such we haven't even tested with networking yet which we will do in the next video as well so stay tuned for that hopefully this was helpful remember to leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one